not all liver or bile duct cancer patients qualify for immunotherapy but the ones who do might experience something we didn't see often before long term control even in advanced cases let me break it down in advanced hccs or hepatocellular carcinomas immunotherapy has now become part of first line treatment especially with the combination of two drugs atezolizumab and bevacizumab this combination often helps unmask the cancer to the immune system and also cuts off its blood supply but there's a catch it's not for everyone you need to have a fairly good liver function ideally child pulled a you should not have active bleeding especially from varices and your general health must allow for outpatient treatment now what about bile duct cancers or cholangiocarcinomas here immunotherapy is used even more selectively traditionally it was only considered for tumors that showed a high msi or a high tmb status these are rare findings but when present drugs like pembrolizumab can be very effective however there is some good news a newer immunotherapy drug called as dorvalumab now is being used in bile duct cancers even without needing these specific genetic markers it's showing promise when combined with chemotherapy in certain cases so what does this mean for patients you won't know if the immunotherapy is an option or not without proper staging or molecular testing it's not a one size fits all treatment but in the right patient it can improve survival and even keep the disease stable for years so if someone you know is dealing with liver or bile duct cancers please share this video they might qualify for a therapy they aren't heard about and it could open up a whole new path